Good morning, all. Good morning. Hello. Am I audible, man? Yes, sir. What is the yes, last sir. one we are discussing? Can you tell? New chapter. That. No, no, friction. Yes, no, no, friction has to be completed. Few more are there because of these holidays. We couldn't meet that. Tell me. Yes, sir. Sir, one, uh, two blocks are there, sir. Length is... Sir, answer is uh, L is equal to root over 2 M, M, L by M, F minus is equal to M. Okay. In that, uh, another part is there. Mission is present. Let's go ahead. Block on block, upper block is applied of course. I don't know, you know. Right. Now we are discussing about these things. There is a block over here, block on block, and we are applying a force over here. Okay. Now this force, because force is applied over here, there will be a friction. Agreed. And there will be normal reactions as usual. This is Mg. This is Mg. This is the normal reaction N2. Now, as this friction tends to move this block away, there is another friction here. Okay, now you can see that from the free body diagram as there is no motion in the vertical direction. I will get these equations. Agreed? Yes, now, limiting friction below will be mu s into n2 mu s2 into this is m plus m into g they agree with this or not and actually this is the kinetic friction as we are seeing that if F is greater than limiting friction of the upper block. That is mu s1 into n1. Following on it, mu s1 into mg. Then what will happen? M slides or upper block slides on So, suppose if we take, this is the upper block, then you have upper block acceleration is the kinetic friction equals m into a1. This happens to be Hope you followed till here. Now we have to check. There is no guarantee that F2 will second block will move the, the lower block. See here, lower block will move. If the upper block which is kinetic understood this? Yes sir. Clear or not? Yes. So now 
suppose if that is the case, in that case the acceleration is what? Remember this? This is nothing but mg. Falling is not? Falling, sir. Okay, we will find then A12. Do you agree with this? Yes, sir. From that you have S12. Okay, and hence you can get T. Okay, now we yes, can sir. say that if the upper block which is trying to cause motion of the lower block is this, then A2 will be 0. So A12 will be only equal to A1. Okay, and S12 equals Li. Accordingly, you can find the time. Understood this? So these are the aspects where a problem will be given. How to solve, I am explaining. Understood this? Yes. The numerical symbol will be given. Any doubt? No, sir. Yes, sir. See, this physics part, why you have to go to slow means I can complete, I can start another lesson. Problem is, this is needed even till your end of engineering. The problem comes is there. Otherwise, you will face trouble in future. Just like how you are facing trouble because of your weak physics in school, Anyhow, whether we complete the syllabus or not, our exam will be, IP exams will be in May. Okay. Once we complete, I will be completing by March 10th like that, the whole IIT first year syllabus. Second year, we will start soon after IP. Now, my advice or request or command or demand is, complete the work along with me. I am giving enough time now. Sir. Completing? These two days you complete anything? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now you felt a little bit confident about friction? Yes, sir. Not only here, man, you observe even YouTube videos. It will be difficult for you to understand that they also struggle a lot to teach. If you want, you can check. They won't take a uh, difficult problem. That is the only thing. Simple problem they'll take and complete it. So physics is a universal. It is difficult. So you have to put in effort to master that. Shall I turn there? Yes, sir. Now I shall repeat the same problem with a bit change. Shall I change this? Yes. Shall, I, shall I change this? Yes, sir. Now the same question will just change, modify. See, previously where the force is applied? On the upper block. Mm -hmm. Now we shall see a situation wherein the force is applied on the lower block. Sir, on the lower block, we completed two cases, sir. No friction and friction present between the blocks. This completed, huh? Yes, sir. Two cases completed around this. Mm. So, we have to put the friction on the ground also, sir, in this case, third case. Okay, let us quickly, for continuity sake, I'll just finish this. Yes. So, there is no, this is smooth. This is friction exists. Okay. Mu is zero, first case. 
okay once mu is zero what you will take there is no force on this friction acts only here so this acceleration so here a1 will be zero now you can see a12 is nothing but a1 minus a2 this is zero this is moving in this direction so that is f by m into minus i cap agreed and you have s with respect to this displacement is backwards no accordingly you have s12 equals u12 t plus half a12 t square this is l minus i and this is zero half f by m minus i t square t equals 2 ml by f understood this yes, friction is not zero then you can see that there are two possibilities if you draw the free body diagram of this This is M, this is M. This is the friction. This is the friction. Now here, <clears throat> what is the maximum acceleration A can have is, what is the maximum acceleration it will have? Yes, max by M. So here also blocks will move. Lower block attains acceleration or same thing. Do you agree with this? Any doubt? No, sir. No doubt, sir. No. So now that means for the lower block, do you agree with this? Yes, Understood this? So this is Do you agree with this or not? Any doubt is there here? No doubt. This is not there, no? Yes, sir. Followed. That means I can infer that as long as between 0 and mu kg into m plus, sorry. 
f increases Do you agree with this? See, earlier I told without shoot of force. Sorry, with shoot of force. Now here, the, without taking shoot of force, I have done. Any, uh, any doubt is there? No, sir. Select. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Pardon? One minute, sir. sir complete. Try to understand this because this is controlled by friction. Friction has a maximum value that is the maximum acceleration. Whereas this is controlled by applied force. Applied force can be going on increasing now. This is fixed but this is increasing. Therefore, this acceleration goes on increasing till one stage of force both will have common acceleration. Now, F is further increased above this. The blocks will move separately. Understood this? Yes. Sir. And after this, I'll review the whole block on block. We'll be knowing some. Don't get worried. Yes, sir. Did it, sir. Finished. Yes, sir. Finished. Will I turn this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, the other case we shall see, if F is increased, what is that value you got? Mu is? M plus M. So now the upper block will be having the kinetic friction. This is the kinetic friction between this and this is F. So you have so you will get A1. So here F minus F K one. So A two equals so here he has given that means you can take like this in this situation. Do you agree with this? Any doubt? So thereby boys followed or not? You can easily find out this S12 is L minus I accordingly you will get T. Understood this? Now not on this. If you do it slowly. No, no, I am drawing with respect to ground. No, that's what I am saying. Here, when they are moving separately, how can they have pseudo force? Man? I am taking the observer to be on ground. Agreed. Previously, I took on the observer on the plank. 
mostly better to take respect to ground but mostly here and there one or two problems from ground frame will be difficult understood this should i turn this Shall I turn this? A2 is equal to F minus mu k1 mg or so there, no, sir. Mu k1 into mg, no, sir. This mg you are getting? Sir, in this A2, A2. Above A2? Ah. Uh. Mg or so there, no, sir. Minus mu k1 mg. Like that, no, sir. Yes. Follow this. Follow. Shall I turn this? Comfortable? Shall I turn this? Now again, let us introduce friction below. If there is friction below this, this is F. F dash, okay, limiting friction for the one is and limiting friction for the below one will be do you agree with the nut? That is nothing but any doubt? No, sir. This is nothing but FH that is limiting now. Agreed? Yes, sir. Agreed. This is F limiting. Now we can see that F will move, M will move. See, this will be fixed. You can see that what is the acceleration of 1? M will move. If and only if. Do you agree with this or not? Yes. Agreed? Yes, sir. Then you have acceleration of this is Do you agree with this? Yes, sir. And in that case, A1 will be what? Mm -hmm. Any doubt? Because here kinetic will come now. Yes, sir. You can find this. You can, this is nothing but accordingly you can find time. Is it clear till here? Yes, sir. Now suppose if F is less than this limiting friction force. M will not move. Then there is no friction. Friction between which blocks? Small m and capital M will be zero. And capital M and small m, sir, and ground. 
will be what? F1 and no? Yes, sir. Follow this. Any doubt? No, sir. Shall we turn this? See, you can see that many people enter many fields cricket, football, badminton, singing, okay, education, any field. Few people will be successful because. They persistently try to reach their goal. They have nothing else in their dreams also. They want the dream, that goal to be achieved. So, whatever troubles come, difficulties come, you have to bear them, share with your well-wishers, your mentors or teachers. And you should forge ahead towards success. Amma, this is difficult. Who will do? He will be there only. No? Remember, you are studying for your own sake, not for others. No? You are building your own economic life for your economic and social status in future. No? Am I right or not? Yes. Shall I turn this? Hello? Sir, complete. Now, let us uh, uh, review a few more problems of this so that you will have some more idea for how to solve these type of problems. See, let us start with another problem. Say this is a fifty Newton is applied. This is 4 kg, this is 6 kg, this is smooth, and this is mu equals 1. Find the acceleration of the blocks. See, definitely. One approach is 4 kg accelerates because of that 6 kg accelerates. No? Am I right or not? Yes, sir. See, your two people are walking. You are going faster than the other fellow. Who will pull? Who is the cause of that motion? The forward fellow is pulling the person who is behind. No? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If this block only is not accelerating, can this accelerate? No, sir. That means the force on this, suppose you take this as 4 kg and this as 6 kg. If this is A1, this is A2, which should be greater? A1. Agreed? Then only... Blocks can move separately, no? Because this force is on this, no? Do you agree with the statement or not? Yes, sir. 
Now we will draw the free body diagrams of this. This is 50 and you can see that maximum friction is mu s m g. I think by this time you should be understanding how to write free body diagrams. Yes, that is 40 newtons is there. Now let us see after finding the limiting friction. Now draw this free body diagram and see. So this is kinetic is also same there now. 50 minus Fk is 40 A1. This is nothing but mu k m into g sir, is sir. where sir. here nothing is given now you can take mu s equals mu k equals 1 1 into 4 into 10 by 4 a1 how much it comes to 2.5. Similarly, on the lower block, this is being accelerated because of this frictional force only. No? Yes. You can see that Fk equals 6 A2. This is nothing but mu k. This is 1, 4, 10, 6, A2. This is 40 by 6. 20 by 3. Okay, this is greater than A1 or not? Yes, sir. Which is not possible. So that means the blocks, I can make the conclusion that Our assumption that blocks move separately is wrong. So, what is the moral of the story? They are not moving separately. That means they should move together. With a common acceleration, 50 by 4 plus 6. How much is that? 5 meters. Five. Any difficulty is there? No. These are the problems which they ask in mains. Okay. Yes. And you don't unnecessarily think too much about this. And that too, don't give your brain multiple resources. I posted on message, remember? It leads to confusion. Just listen the classes, do the assignments. And whatever assignments you are not getting in the first step, just underline them. Okay? Follow what I am saying? Yes, sir. Yes. Shall I turn this? One minute, sir.
Yes, sir. Complete. Yes, sir. Complete. So one of the methods is you lay on the blocks more separately. The acceleration of the block which on which four external force is there that will be more than the other block. Otherwise they cannot move separately. They move with common acceleration. Okay. What are this? The other method is method two. How to solve block on block problems. We will assume that or is an assumption. Understood is? Understood, sir. There is no guarantee that it should be true. Now let us check with that assumption. What will be the value of force of friction? Okay. Yes, sir. So here is a common acceleration. Thirty now. This is less than the limiting friction now. What is the limiting friction we got? You got limiting friction how much? Check up. Forty. Forty. Means possible now. Possible sir. So our assumption that. Blocks move together. Follow to this. Shall I turn the page? Now let us focus on another problem. So here, this is 5 kg block, this is the 10 kg block, this is 30 newtons, this is 0 0.6. This is smooth. Find the force of friction acting on 10 kg block. Now, as usual, your wish, you can assume the blocks move together or separately. First of all, what is the limiting friction? Thirteen newtons. Now, you can see, you can assume anywhere. Suppose the blocks move separately, your wish, and find out 
Which one? Acceleration sir will be zero now sir for the upper block. Why? External force and external force both are same sir. So it could be zero now sir. Ah, for this one it is. This is thirty. This is F K. F K is mu k into 5 into g. Here nothing is given. You can assume they are like this. This come to 30. Therefore, a1 is 0. Now, for the lower block, you can see this is fk. This is 10 kg. fk equals 10 a2. This is 30 equals 10 a2. a2 is 3. Now you can see a1 is greater than a2. Not possible now? Yes, so that means our assumption is wrong now. Sir, a1 is less than a2. Okay. Our assumption that blocks move separately is wrong. Therefore, they move with a common acceleration. What is the other method I told? Assume that they move with a common acceleration and find the friction. If that friction is less than the limiting value, then that is possible. Otherwise, it is not possible. Did you follow or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do, do by that method, that is the blocks will be moving, after finishing this, assume that the blocks move with common acceleration and find the friction. See that it is below the limiting value or not. If it is below the limiting value, it is a valid assumption. Otherwise, it is invalid. Okay? Yes, sir. Try that way. Yes, sir, God, sir. Yes, sir, God, sir.
got by the second method man yes sir Return. yes sir you got friction got sir how much you got 20 Newton. 20 Newton. That 20 Newton. Friction limiting. Friction limiting is 30. 2 meter per second square. Actually, sir. Hmm. Understood the method now. Yes, sir. So you can assume the acceleration separately, or you can assume they are moving with common angle. Your wish. Okay. So the next one, let us see. These are all uh, simple problems. Means maximum will be asking these type of questions. That's why you are feeling easy, no? These things. Yes, sir. Advanced only you feel difficult. Not only it's a common problem. So many colleges they teach only for mains. Your Sharma sir says afterwards we'll teach advanced. Of course, he may not say that. Means level again later will be problem. Physics it won't work out. Okay. Now here also same. First thing is find x max mu. Fifteen Newton, no? Do you agree with this? Now you can assume that check up whether they move together or not. Then what is the common acceleration? The common acceleration. After that, let us find the upper block is having a friction. This is the friction. They move with a common acceleration. So for this. Ten less than fifteen newton. No? Do you agree on that? Yes, sir. Understood this? Or you can do the other way. What is the other way? Assume that the blocks move separately. If you want, you can see. The other way also you can do it. Okay. Then what you will have here, man? F K on the upper block, five into this, falling or not? Yes, sir. Mu K into five into G. This comes to be five into ten by five 
a1 a1 is 3 meter per second square for the lower 40 minus fk 15 a2 this fk turns to be 0 0.3 into 5 into 10 by 15 a2 this is 3 3 into 5 15 25 by 15 a2 5 5 5 3 now you can see a2 is less than a1 not possible no sir clear or not yes sir Is it clear? Yes. Yes, sir. When they move with common acceleration, definitely this has a limit. Okay? That limit, it should not cross. So, assuming that we will take the friction. Understood this? Because when they this catalyst, there is no relative motion between these two. Therefore, frictional force may be any value from 0 to maximum. So, which value we need? Understood this? Clear or not? Yes, sir. Clear, sir. Shall I turn this? Yes. Yes, sir. You remember that the upper block, you can make a note of this as upper block Okay, F can vary, F is static and can take any value from where to where, between 0 to F max. Do you agree or not? Yes, sir. Hello? Boys, any doubt? Yes, sir. No doubt, sir. So we are we want to find one particular value. He is asking what is the force of friction. Clear? Yes, sir. Shall I turn this? Yes, sir. One minute, sir. One minute, sir. Now, if I only teach these type of problems and give only these type of simple questions, you will be comfortable with physics, you will get very good marks, but you won't get result. Then I can just say that uh, basically you are not studying, that's why I didn't get the result. I don't want that actually. The question of not getting should not arise, you must get. That's the reason why I am doing the advanced level problem, which may feel difficult. Can I turn this? Yes, sir. Yes. Now let us go to the other problem. 
another one Checkup. Yeah. How to find the acceleration of this? What are the assumptions we should make? You can take that where they move separately or they move together. Agreed? So, mm -hmm. what is the limiting friction you have? Mu S into 2 into G. 0 0.5 into 2 into 10. This comes to 5. 10 Newton. Agreed? Assume that blocks move separately. Can you do it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do it. So here you have Mela Osma. Hmm. FK is how much, man? Mu K M as nothing is given, you can take them to be equal 10. So, this is the accelerations. Is it possible? Is it possible? Well, sir. Possible, sir. Possible, sir. Possible, possible, possible. Agreed? Yes, sir. Shall we turn this? So, not tell me. So we can just use force equal to ma, right? Where? Uh, on the first block to find no, the acceleration. Yes. Okay, sir. I have taken that down, you know. A physical ma only, you know. 18 minus fk by 2. Okay, sir. Okay, okay.
Hello? Yes, sir. Shall I turn this? Again, same thing, no? First, what we should do? Find the limiting friction. Yeah. Mm. Now you can assume in any way. and find the common acceleration. Do you agree with this? Yeah, after that, the cause of motion of this is frictional force. This is the capital F, this is friction. This is 40. What is the acceleration of this? This is F is equal to M into common acceleration. That comes to be 20 less than F max. Possible or not? Yes, sir. Therefore, is nothing but the common acceleration of 2 meter per second square. I think now we should be confident on this. Many problems have done. Shall I turn this? One minute. Finished. Right. Now, the usual methods we can review. This is the force F. Mu. This is it. The you can find that the common acceleration assume common acceleration. I 
will first find common aggregation, then we will analyze. This is M2, this is moving because of friction. Now you can see this F is equal to M2 AC. Now you can see this and this M1, M2, other things are constant on you know. You can see that as F increases, what will happen? Block. Agreed? Any doubt? When F equals F limiting, then what will happen? That is what we do now. Agreed? So this is nothing but, F is nothing but, note on this. So I can say, therefore, F can have a maximum value must be equal to what? This is nothing but any doubt in this? No, sir. So, I can summarize that 0 to as or F is less than blocks move together. F equals Understood this? Clear? Yes. Why? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any doubt is there? No, sir. No, sir, no doubt. See, I observed that on an average 26 people are regular. So I think I have to start some classes even at night. Night uh, 9 to 10, any problem is there for you people? No problem, sir. Jaseem? Jaseem? Sir, here it is early, sir. Pardon? Sir, here it is 7.30, sir. No problem. Ah, 9 o'clock means for you 7.30, yeah? Yes, sir. Only one and a half hour below, that's all. Lagging by one and a half hour. That's fine. No problem, Two and a half. Two and a half. Sir, two and a half are different, sir. No, man, evening 7, oh, morning 7 that you are saying, ah? No, sir, night is 7 that I am saying, sir. No, man, night, if I take at 9 o'clock, what is your time there? 7.30. 6 30, here 6.30, sir. 6 30. Huh? 36. 6.30, yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Evening 6.30, yeah? Yes, sir, evening 6.30. Yes, sir. Oh, that means how many hours? Two and a half hours difference, huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Right then. I'll start classes shortly because otherwise, I waited that uh, many children are there, but I understood that many people are uh, hopeless. They are not in the race also. We used to think about them. Those are regular, be regular. with 26 students. 
ओके देन गो टू योर प्रेयर्स आई थिंक नाउ यू हैव क्लास नो यस सर थैंक यू सर यस यस टेक केयर बाय 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 बाय